Hey everyone, David Hutchins here, CEO of The Storytelling Leader. I am coming to you from beautiful Fontainebleau, France, and this is the Palace of Fontainebleau that you see right behind me. And uh, I'm here working with some leaders for the week. And I was talking to a leader and he said, Dave, my, my people are anxious, everybody is stuck, and the work isn't moving forward. And I've put together a uh, information packet in PowerPoint, and I want to run it by you. And I was, so he's showing me the slides. And I said, you know what? I don't think this is the way to go. If your system is anxious, data is not the best way to unstick an anxious system. You, you have grabbed the wrong tool from the toolbox, and now might be a good time to tell some stories. And uh, I've been a part of anxious teams before. You probably have too. And one thing I've noticed about anxious teams is that systems with anxiety aren't generating a lot of ideas. And creativity is the first casualty of an anxious system. And this is a perfect opportunity to tell stories because stories are an invitational language. And when people are anxious, when people are stuck. What happens is our, our, our vision literally becomes narrow and focused because we're, we're, we're thinking about threats. And story is the language that, that resets peripheral vision. It invites us to think more broadly about what's possible. And so if you do have a system that's anxious and the people are stuck, uh, what kind of stories can you tell? Your choices are infinite. There, there's thousands of stories, but, but I'll give you one. How about a, a, a good old fashioned day in the life story? I had a friend who is a senior leader in HR and they were part of a massive transformation where HR was becoming a strategic business partner to the business and everybody was freaked out about it because there's some other challenges going on. And so he, he told a story, a day in the life story. And he created this, this composite character, Sherry, and said, let me tell you what Sherry's day looks like in the future when HR is a strategic business partner. And he showed her going through her day, doing the kind of work that they normally do in HR, but now she was feeling the rewards of having a seat at the table and helping make dis business decisions and scaling her impact. And he wrote this up as a simple email. It was, it was a creative day in the life story that he emailed out to his team. And the response was perfect. The people said, what do I need to do to be in a story like that? That's the story I want to be in. What's the holdup, right? That, it's the perfect response. So that's one possible solution for you. A day in the life story is a great way to unstick a team that is stuck in anxiety. Show them a story that lays out the possibilities and invites them to step out of the bad, anxious story that they're in into a better story of the future. That's just one idea. I've got lots more ideas for you on the kinds of stories you could be telling and how to develop them. Come on over to the storytellingleader.com. There's lots of resources there and we'll help you tell your stories.